It doesn't seem like a satisfactory answer for some people, but that was really the truth of why I didn't want to be a mom and why I still don't want to be a mom, so I wasn't really going to say anything else. Welcome to Wife Without Kids, I'm Hannah. This channel is a positive and non-judgmental community to support you in your child-free life. You guys have already seen the title. I don't want kids. I've never wanted kids. I didn't like kids when I was a kid. When I was younger, I was around kids so much that I didn't know what life would have been like not being around kids. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it would be like to not like kids if you were a kid. Which makes me wonder if she was an only child, because I have heard quite a few only children say that they didn't like kids. But maybe not. I'm probably stereotyping her and assuming she's an only child when she's actually not. As a woman, despite the fact that it is almost 2019, there's still an assumption that all women are supposed to or should want to get married, have kids. But even as a child, that was never something that was aspirational for me. That was never something that I fantasized about. That was never something that I desired. I always thought when I was a kid, yeah, I think I'd want to get married someday. I didn't know if I would ever find anyone to get married to, but I never thought really thought about having kids. My sisters and I would play house, but I remember I would always be the storekeeper and my store of choice was a gas station. So while my siblings were like the parents that stayed home with their kids, I had a gas station. I felt like I had a very lucrative career and we used to use those little coupon books as money. I was filling up on cash. That was the worst pun ever. Ignore that. And the entire time I was growing up, once I came to that realization that, mm, I don't think that's for me. I don't really have any interest in having kids. And I realized this at a young age because Internally, I've always been an 85 year old crotchety old man. And of course, realizing that at such a young age, you know, when I was in my tweens and teens and so forth, the overwhelming response was always, oh, you'll change your mind. I feel like that's the only thing that the older generation says to someone of a younger age when they find out they don't want kids or when the individual's like, I don't want kids. I wonder if that's what people said to them. So that's just what they pass on to the younger generation. That I'm at the end of my life and mere moments away from death's sweet release, that hasn't changed at all. Simply because I'm still within my childbearing years, whenever I express that I'm not interested in having children, the response is typically like, mm, you'll probably change your mind or mm, are you sure? <sighs> I wonder what age people stop saying stuff like that to you. Like, do you literally have to be fully gray or like in your 60s before people stop saying that kind of stuff? <laughs> Although recently someone in their 70s that never had kids actually said people approach her now and say, oh, you must miss out on being a grandma. Don't you wish you could be a grandma? So really, I don't think it's going to end. It's just that what people are saying to you is going to be different, but they're still going to be saying something to you that sort of judges your choice or people will continue to assume that you've made the wrong choice. Is that how this is going to go? Because I was kind of looking forward to people not questioning my child-free choice anymore. And quite frankly, that response, in my opinion, is extremely dismissive and disrespectful. I'm not 15 years old. I'm not 20 years old. I think I would know by now if I were going to change my mind. Equally invasive is the fact that people constantly want to ask why when I express that I don't want to have children. And quite frankly, it isn't anyone's business. I don't owe anyone any explanation as to why I don't want kids. It never feels like that when people ask you. Now, I will say I'm in a much better and more confident place now than I was years ago when people used to ask me that because I feel like I have an answer prepared and I've thought about it a lot. I've started a YouTube channel and talk about it all the time. So it's very comfortable for me to talk about that. When people used to ask me, well, why don't you want kids? The only reason I didn't want kids is because I don't want to be a mom. I don't want to experience what it's like to be a mom and to raise children. I mean, some people don't even really think that that's an answer. They're like, oh, well, there must be something else. Do you have some health problems or did you have a bad growing up experience? But it was just simply, I don't want to be a mom. That was really the truth of why I didn't want to be a mom and why I still don't want to be a mom. Nonetheless, the answer is pretty simple. I don't want kids because I don't like them. I simply don't have that maternal urge to reproduce. Even though I've always felt certain and confident in my decision on an internal level, I still to this day will struggle with the external pressures just from society making me feel like I'm somehow less of a woman because I don't want to reproduce. There is always going to be that bit of judgment for people that choose to be child-free, especially if you are a woman because you're just expected to have kids. Well, sometimes people will voice it or sometimes people will make comments 
that make you realize that, yeah, they think I'm crazy for not having kids. Or they'll make a comment that sort of makes it seem like you're being pitied, like, oh, that's too bad. Like, you know, you're really missing out. That's almost worse than people being judgmental because it's making it seem like that my choice is a bad choice and that I shouldn't want to not be a mom. You can't make yourself want to be a mom if you don't want to be a mom. If you don't want to have that experience, you just don't want to have that experience. Like she says, she doesn't like kids. Why would she have kids? We don't feel like we're missing out on anything. We know there are things we're never going to experience, but we're okay with that. So we actually don't want pity and we don't need pity. We just like people to accept us and our choice. Then the logical part of my mind reminds me, just because I don't want babies doesn't make me any less of a woman. It seems to me that I've got a lot of friends in my life who are also women who also don't particularly have any interest in having kids. I don't know if it's an evolutionary shift where that urge is subsiding because our planet is dying, or if it's simply that we are at a crossroads on a societal level where we're actually able to express these things with less judgment than before, albeit not without judgment entirely. She is so lucky that a lot of her friends do not want babies. And by lucky, I don't mean, I'm not upset that my friends have babies. I know that that's just a normal part of life and that's basically what most people decide. But I have one friend that doesn't have a baby and that has actively chosen to live the child-free life. That's it. But I think there's definitely an advantage to having people around you that have made that choice to be child-free because you just get each other and that your topic of conversation isn't gonna roll around to why you don't have kids and go down that whole rabbit hole because sometimes you just don't wanna talk about why you don't have kids. And that's one reason I started this community because I was like, I need some child-free friends. It's so good for the soul to have a community of people that understand. So thank you for being here. Thank you so much for all the time that you guys take to watch my videos and to share them and to comment and to have conversations conversations about this down in the comment section below. I know I've chatted with a few of you in the comments on previous lady business videos where we've talked a little bit about not wanting kids and just that whole uh, struggle. Because again, it's not a struggle for me on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It's a struggle when I have to deal with other people putting their issues on me. And it's funny because people will often think they're complimenting me when they say things like, but you're the type of person who really should. I do think people mean that as a compliment, but I know myself really well, better than that person knows me. And I just don't think that I have the skill set to be a great mother. Besides the fact that I don't want to be one, I do think that some people really look inside themselves and they're like, wow, I really have these skills that I can pass on to a child and I have this wisdom I can pass on to a child and that's why they have kids. And I just don't look at myself like that. Like I'm not being really down on myself and saying like, oh, I suck, I'm a horrible human being. I just think there are people who could be better parents than I could be because I just don't think that would be my best work, to be honest. <laughs> I am painfully aware of how many are pooping out babies on a daily basis, but that also is not within my control and me having a baby doesn't somehow cancel that out. As far as marriage goes, that also is not an aspirational thing for me, never has been. I never fantasize about some huge wedding and a giant white dress, even when I was a little girl. When I was in university, one of my college roommates had a wedding book. Like it was a binder filled with like those clear plastic sheets that flip into the binder. Like it was a thick binder. And inside the binder, she had all these ideas for what she wanted for her wedding. Everything from multiple different kinds of like dress styles that she would potentially have to like what her bridesmaids would be wearing and colors of their dresses and flower arrangements and cake options and the DJ music. She pulled it out one day and I was like, what is that? And she was telling me what it was. And she's like, don't you have a wedding binder? And I was like, I've literally never heard of anyone that had a wedding binder. Now I'm Canadian, I'm Canadian. Maybe Canadian girls don't do this. Maybe it was just American girls that do this. I don't know, no shade to American girls at all. I just never knew any of my friends in Canada that ever did that. But let me know down in the comments below, did you have a wedding binder? That just seems like a lot of work. My aspirations in life have always been professional aside from wanting to have a house with a yard so I can have a lot of dolls. And it doesn't make me any less of a woman or any less feminine simply because my top priority isn't finding a husband or starting a family. 
100% agree with her. You do not have to do any of those things to be feminine or to be a woman or to be recognized as being the right kind of woman. So pursuing the thing that makes you happy and feel fulfilled is probably the direction that you should go. She obviously has no interest in children and she has no interest in having a husband. So it wouldn't be fair to get married to someone when you really weren't into them just because that's what you're supposed to do. The same way it makes no sense to have kids if you don't want kids just because that's the thing people tell you you should do if you're a woman. I have the utmost respect and admiration for women women who do do that because quite frankly childbirth is terrifying not to mention you have made a person now and you have to raise that person it's a lot of pressure I just don't think there's anything wrong with respecting women who choose to do that but not wanting that for yourself I think that is the perfect way to approach this kind of situation. As a child-free woman, I have massive respect for parents. I want them in turn to have a massive amount of respect for me for not having kids and doing something that is different than the norm because it doesn't make me less of a woman or a person because I don't want to have kids. This is something that we still really struggle with in society. Parents and child free kind of pit themselves against each other and one thinks that they're better than the other. It definitely seems to be a lack of respect for the individual that has made the opposite choice that you've made. And that makes me really sad because I don't think it has to be like that. I think I can respect someone's lifestyle choice even if I don't understand it. I'm a minority within a minority within a minority, you know? I'm a woman who's black who doesn't want kids. And as far as marriage goes, you know, if I ever met a guy where I felt like uh, I wanted to do that, I'm, I'm not completely closed off to the idea. I'm just like, I'm never getting married. It's just not something that I'm pressed about and it's certainly not something that I dream about. Typically within about 90 minutes, I'm like, okay, you can, you're free to go. I've already called you an Uber. Don't get married if you don't want to be married or if you don't really have a strong desire to. I mean, I love being married. There's amazing parts of it, but there's parts of it that can be challenging. Not wanting kids is of course a massive factor in my dating life as well. I mean, I generally let this be known up front because if the guy wants kids, it's a deal breaker. I'm not interested in wasting his time and I'm definitely not interested in wasting my time. Absolutely 100% the best way to go. Just be brave, put it out there that you don't want kids because otherwise you're just wasting your time and the other person's time. And what's the point of that? Life's too short. More than once I've seen looking for the mother of my children on a bio and I swipe left so hard my phone flew across the room. <laughs> Do people really, okay. I feel like maybe I'm a little bit of an older sister to the majority of you guys that watch my channel because no one used dating apps when I was in my 20s, like nobody. There were a few online dating sites that people used. Obviously that has shifted massively and people just meet people all the time online and it's no big deal. But that was kind of a taboo thing and a thing that people mostly kept quiet if they were doing it. I feel so old saying that, but there you go. Check out the video that pops up on your screen to see what you should do if you don't want kids, but your partner does. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are never alone and I will see you next week.